Hello Libra. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitsha here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So I'll be doing a love reading, a general love reading, looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level. The person you're wanting to connect with romantically, what is it that they're feeling and thinking towards you? This reading is meant from mid-December to the end of December 2020, but it is a general love reading, so it may not resonate for everyone during that timeline. Some of you may have already gone through this. Wow, love. Some of you may be going through this right now or in the far future. You have, I'm using here the uh, Goddess Oracle deck. Quite a few good cards coming out here. Okay. Right, then you have doubt. Okay, so you have creativity, love, then you have selfhood, then you have doubt, crisis, followed by sexuality, nourishment. Hearth and home. And under the bottom of the deck, you have laughter. Okay. Libra. I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you currently. My dear Libra, I want to create something with you. I want to start something with you. Something that will be long lasting for the world to see, even if it is fragile. Because I know and I feel that I am in love with you. There is a sense of unconditional love here that I have for you. It is pure and it is true. And I do see that you have this aura about you that is the aura of someone being single. I also have the same appeal and because of this sometimes I doubt whether you want to be in a connection or not I feel you have your own freedom and that's fine but do you want to be tied down by love For you, does love tie you down? Because now I'm doubting this connection. I don't know if love is even safe for the both of us. Which is why I'm very overwhelmed now. There is a sense of being overwhelmed and I'm not able to think straight. There's a lot of mental anguish, anxiety. There's a sense of frustration and impatience. I can't think straight like I used to. And it's because my emotions are so overwhelmed right now. My mind is overwhelmed. 
Too much is going on and I'm unable to move forward. I am stuck. And why is it so intense? It's because I love you. That's why I'm feeling this way. Things are just not making sense anymore to me. I love your body. You are so sexy. Your skin, your body, the way I touch you, the way you touch me, I miss everything. I just can't stop thinking about you. I love making love to you. And I want to make love to you. The thought of it is very, very prominent. It comes and goes. It does not stop. Because I do feel that you are this perfect soul that I have met. You fulfill my every desire. You give me spiritual satisfaction, emotional and physical. Nourishment, that is what you give me. And because of that, I feel already that you and I, there's no doubt about it, we are family. You are my hearth and home. No matter where you are, wherever you are, that is where my home is. Without you, life is just black and white. There is a sense of warmth, coziness. I feel cozy and toasty when I think of you. And when I'm lost emotionally, I think of you and you are that guiding light. Overall, my heart is happy knowing that you are in the world. There's so much joy and satisfaction that my heart gets. I feel alive again. I feel young again. I feel like dancing for joy. You make me very happy. And for me, that is a big deal. And that matters a lot. I want to make you happy as well. I want to create something with you. However, this feeling of distance, this little bit of defensiveness, I am feeling that I need to take a step back Maybe I went too far. It is quite overwhelming. But my feelings for you are genuine. All right, Libra, <clears throat> that was sweet. For me, this card, selfhood, has a few meanings, but what I'm picking up from here is definitely the fact that if one of you, okay, let's put it this way, if both of you are in a situation together, let's just say you're a couple right now, there's this air about you when maybe you go outside. One of the partners here um, acts very single. And sometimes that creates a little bit of a doubt. This could even be for people who are married, partnerships, dating. Um, even for people who are approaching someone, the person approaching may feel as though you are a little single and ready to mingle and this makes them wonder that if I engage in this way am I going to ruin their freedom are they going to change 
but they still want to be a very good friend to you. It's a very sweet reading. I actually, I actually really like this one. It's like one of the nicest ones I've done in a while. <laughs> okay, so we have here the Beginner's Tarot deck. And I'll be looking into any intentions, any plans, any actions that this person may take towards you, Libra. Okay, let's see. Six of Pentacles. Yes, this person definitely wants to take you out either on lunch, coffee, dinner, could be anything. They just want a different environment where they can speak with you. They can speak to you. They are going through a lot too. They feel that this situation has become quite burdensome. Um, there's a lot going on. They are overwhelmed with many responsibilities as well. This may not just be you. But there may be other things. There may be health issues. Um, there may be financial issues. There's many issues. So it could be anything. But there's several of them. Just keep that in mind. So if this person doesn't give you their energy or their time, there is a reason behind that because they have a lot of other things to deal with. Holy Hannah, you guys got like a bucket load coming out here. Um, wait one second. You got like a lot of cards. Wait one second. Okay, so you do have young energy here. This is very youthful type of energy. You have the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is somebody that is going to come back into your life because they are afraid that they're losing you and they want to be very passionate with you. They're going to come back into your life because they want to say sorry. They want some forgiveness. So they want this forgiveness. Why do they want that? Because they want to put to death. These are two major arcanas. They want to put asleep and just finish it off, whatever has happened before. And there's a sunshine here. A new day is starting, is dawning. They want a new start with you. They want something fresh to happen, something new. Out with the old. What do they want? A second chance, judgment. This time they want to be more transparent. They feel this is divinely guided. They want to be more clear. They don't want to hide anything from you. Um, there's a lot of transparency here, just being very truthful, very truthful about the entire situation. For now, Libra, is this person taking action? No, but they are thinking of all of this right now. They're thinking about that second chance. They're thinking about how they're going to approach you. They're retreating right now. They're healing. So is this person going to take action right now? I don't see that, but what I do see is they're starting to plan their intention. They're doing the planning. So that is still progress. There's a process to everything. All right, let's see with the Lover's Path Tarot. What is it that is holding this person back? There's something holding them back. Oh boy. Triumph and then again, Ten of Staffs here. Very similar to the Ten of Wands. It's the same thing. All right, we have here triumph. Triumph. In the past, this person had felt some triumph over their difficulties that they were facing. They were feeling supported by the universe in the past. And there was a happy closure to a phase of life. However, now, Libra, what they're going through with the situation with you, they're fearing expansion. They're uncomfortable with the unknown. 
they don't feel comfortable in a different setting, in a different environment. There's a sense of being uncomfortable here. There's a fear of expansion. They're feeling pessimistic. Even if they know how their future is going to manifest and turn into, they're still feeling hesitant. However, they literally have their fingers crossed and they are hoping for a more better, happier period coming about. So that's actually really good. They, they're they hoping to get over this and your cards do indicate this. So it does seem pretty good. Um, I see the reading as a positive reading right now still. And then you have the Ten of Staves. The Ten of Staves. Yep. This person may have become successful a long while ago. Um, but what's happened now is that with that success, there's more responsibilities. So this person may be feeling very overwhelmed now. And currently what they're feeling is they're very overwhelmed and burdened by responsibilities. So Libra, if this person does not have time for you, keep in mind that it is because they are not able to dedicate that time to you because that time is being used elsewhere. Right now, their responsibilities, they have, you know, dipped their fingers in too many things, perhaps. Sometimes we do this on purpose, and because of whatever's happening right now globally, we have to make the resources, we have to find places, how are we going to make money, right? Maybe this person has three jobs. I used to have three jobs a long time ago. It was ridiculous. The timings were ridiculous. It's so difficult if you have three jobs, try to schedule it. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> but anyway, what happened, that was like, oh my God, long, long, long time ago. Um, but this person has put their fingers in all of these responsibilities and they're not able to dedicate their time and energy effort to you. So Libra, if you feel that this person is not giving you attention, I mean, for goodness sakes, don't think that at all, like that they don't love you. You know, your reading is quite nice. They do have affection for you. Um, there's a lot of affection. They're just really boggled down with a lot of stuff right now. It really does seem as if they're being held down. Right now, guys, I, I do work. Um, I'm an essential worker for the justice system. I know nobody knows this, but <laughs> that's me. One day, one day I will let everyone know who I am, what I do. In the meantime, I'm your Asnoichia. I'm here for you guys. All right. Opportunity. We have here opportunity, and is this in line? Okay, there you are. These messages are brought to you by Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. There is something better. Hmm. There's no need to worry. I'm hearing someone say, how long is it going to take for them to get their stuff together? Someone's been waiting a very long time. And that's the thing, guys. Libra, like I'm seeing with this reading now. Yeah, not the right time. I am sensing from this reading, there are a lot of you that have been waiting, you know, for that, for that special time. But, like, look at this, not the right time, right? So... It does say there's something better. Let's see what the last card, seventh card. Improving health. Yep. Yeah. I usually, I usually don't. 
this is a, a two-way thing guys this is literally if you guys want it to work you can make it work if you don't go ahead with someone else honestly because this person has caused a lot of health issues physical issues you have had stress anxiety um frustration and patience literally your blood pressure might have started rising because of just tension you know the tension has really increased in your minds because of this um this is obviously not for everybody some people are more sensitive than others um and that's an issue right so everybody is different now with the first card here yes you are going to receive an opportunity what i'm feeling guys is this seems to be another person that's not a bad thing <laughs> that's not a bad thing keep your options open the it seems like here the angels are inclined to kind of tell you that there is somebody else on the horizon here it does seem that yes you're going to receive an opportunity there's something better than this individual there's no need to worry you're not going to be single look for a sign this could be honestly okay why is okay co-worker i'm getting co-worker um maybe a co-worker might give you <laughs> some type of sign um but this could be literally signs and synchronicities it could be the person of interest that you're looking towards here um this person may just simply reach out to you in a very shy kind of way um just keep in mind that yes this person does want you and that is a sign but as the angels are saying right now is not the right time so these messages are literally split in two ways for those of you searching for new love yes you're going to have something coming to you not this person for those of you that are still waiting for this person eventually it's going to turn out okay there's not just one path our lives are like a tree with a lot of branches so we have multiple um possibilities you turn them into possibilities there is one path however when there's an event that happened we kind of go on the side and then that creates a different branch so keep in mind that you guys are going to be having options here right now is not the right time for those of you dealing with this individual that we were talking about right now meditation brings answers this card does talk about the christ consciousness it talks about jehovah it talks about angels meditate also simply means just pray it doesn't have to be for hours it can be short um but as long as you have that intention the intention is there and the will to do it you will have more positive energy coming your way and helping you and guiding you we do give permission to angels to help us um for those of you interested regarding this one this is also your chakras being all out of alignment um you may contact me i have something called the chakra checkup package you can um get that particular package and i'll remotely check for you what issues and imbalances you have in what chakras and where those negative energies are settled inside of your energy centers and then i help you remove those all right and that is for those of you that are kind of stressed dealing with stuff if you feel the need reach out now get more information you see the people that's not that are not going to get more information you guys are just going to walk on you're going to find something better however the ones that are you know the romantics super um they want to stay in this connection get more information about this person literally what is overwhelming this person maybe you can help them of course it does say it's not the right time however this person really is i mean they have a lot going on and there's a lot of feelings of being overwhelmed with many responsibilities so get more information what this person's going through it'll give you a better understanding and you will be able to wait for them because at that point you will understand what they're going through all right guys i hope i was able to provide you with the clarity and the 
guidance that the angels have given us. Um, let me know in the comments below if this resonated with anyone. <laughs> and I will see you guys next year. Until then, take care and stay safe. All right, Libra. Bye now.